Hi, I'm Rick Coleman from Initial State, and I'm here to show you today the integration, the beta integration between the DAC 6510 and Initial State. Data loggers are great for long running measurements, things like temp sensitivity, highly accelerated testing, battery depletions, things like that. And Initial State is a data streaming platform that allows you to stream data directly to the cloud, visualize that data in the browser, share it, analyze it through mathematical transformations, and ultimately have access and visualization to your data. Um, what we're gonna look at is a way to send data directly from the data logger to initial state. There's no middleman computer, there's no code involved, and ultimately you can monitor your tests while they're going on from a computer or even a phone. All right, let's dive into the integration here. As you can see, I've got the initial state app installed on the DAC 6510. So what that gives us is this new menu at the bottom of the screen. There's a couple of things that we set up for a scan. Number one is the access key. This is a long access key that you retrieve from your initial state account. It is part of the secure encryption that happens between this device and initial state. It's long and it's a little bit tedious to enter, but once you do it, you only have to do it once. So I've got that entered. The next thing I'm going to do is name this data. It's called the bucket key for initial state. So I'm just going to name it test for now and say OK. Now everything is set up and ready to take a measurement. So I'm going to go and go to the scan menu and I've got four temperature channels, a typical measurement. I'm going to go over to the scan tab and just do some, some quick things. Set it to 20 samples. 0.5 seconds between them, it's about 10 seconds worth of samples. And then a key thing here is a new option in the export destination. This is where you'd normally set up the export of the data to go to USB key. Here you could actually see it's a new option called initial state. So I'm going to set the export destination to initial state and now it's ready to go. I'm going to click start. You hear the relays clicking away. And what is happening right now is it is actually sending data directly from the 6510 to the initial state platform securely and encrypted. Okay, now that we've sent some data to initial state, let's go to a browser and check out our data. So here's our test bucket. I've set up a quick dashboard to make our data look a little bit better. And you can see our data is simply in a very nice visualization. Keep in mind that in longer form, measurements like days or weeks of measurement, these measurements are actually populating in this system in real time. So you can monitor these remotely through your computer, any device, or even your phone, and you can create dashboards. There's lots of other things that you can do once you have data inside of initial state. For instance, you can inspect the data, you can try to understand trends, you can compare data between measurements, you can run mathematical transformations, Maybe a simple one that I want to run here is this is temperature in Celsius and I could easily write a mathematical equation to convert that to Fahrenheit if that's what I want to see on my dashboard for instance. Another kind of notion that we have within the system is a very scope-like view of your data. So you can drop cursors and see differences between humps and valleys of your data. Um, you can get stats like histograms and number of data points and averages and things of that nature all within the tool. Finally, a very powerful part is the ability to share this data securely with others. I can go over to the sharing tab and write just simply an email address of someone else in my team. That person will receive an email, then they can go right to initial state and access the data securely through the browser themselves. No software required. In addition, there's one other really important feature of initial state plus the 6510. Uh, we've talked to a lot of people that mention uh, they need the ability to monitor in an automated fashion their data collection. So essentially they want to know when a particular and critical threshold is met within the system and they want to get notified. And in the case of measurements that last days or weeks, this needs to be automated. So initial state has a really interesting feature called triggers. You can add a trigger here in initial state. You can apply that trigger to any one of the signals that are coming in from the 6510 in real time. 
and you can send emails or texts based on thresholds and other logical operations so that you get real-time notifications when your measurement goes out of spec or when a specific thing that you want to monitor happens within your measurement. That was a quick walkthrough of the features of the integration between the Keithley 6510 and Initial State. You can get started today just by going to initialstate.com slash Keithley and click get started now. That'll take you to a tutorial that gives you step-by-step -step instructions, allows you to download the beta software and firmware for the Keithley device, get started with initial state, and make your first measurements. If you have any questions, let me know. Give me an email at rick at initialstate.com. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks.